The Brooklyn Nets are delusional. In a recent report from Michael A. Scotto, it has been revealed that the Nets will be pursuing a trade for Donovan Mitchell over the summer, and we have to break this down because Donovan Mitchell is our trade target, and no one else can trade for him unless we say so. But in all seriousness, guys, welcome back to Nick's Digest. It's Chris here, and we're going to jump right into the video as we always do. More Donovan Mitchell news coming at you. As Michael A. Scotto reported... Donovan Mitchell is a potential trade target for the Brooklyn Nets, who would most likely make the move this summer. And on Hoops Hype, what they had to say, and I'm not going to read through this because I apparently just can't read whenever I try to do these. The Nets have to decide if they're going to trade for a star this summer or maybe wait until 25 when they could have 80 to $90 million in cap space. So essentially, they could sign someone else if they land a big trade and basically make themselves more of an enticing market and a team that could compete in the playoffs once again. They've got that Ben Simmons expiring contract. That's $40 million that a team that wants to start rebuilding or just retooling their roster can use for cap space or as another trade chip. It is now officially a tradable contract instead of one of the NBA's worst contracts. And they said it doesn't matter if he touches the court, shoots threes on Instagram, and, or comes into camp in the best shape of his life. He can play the whole season or one minute. The contract is what's valuable there because it's an expiring $40 million, aka an extra $40 million of cap space once you let him walk to, like, I don't know, as Donald Trump would say, China. But... They've got seven tradable first-round picks, and other players like Cam Thomas, who certainly should be somewhere in the most improved player conversation, which I would agree with, despite the fact that him and the Knicks have beef. And also Dorian Finney-Smith, who's a nice trade chip, and Dennis Schroeder, who also is a decent guy to trade. Contending teams would look at him as a realistic option, as potentially even a starting-level point guard. The dude is a very solid role player in the NBA. He has been for a while now. But here's the thing. Can the Nets really beat out the Knicks in a trade for Donovan Mitchell? What if Leon Rose decides that he does want Donovan Mitchell and puts out his trade for the New York native? Because look, I assume Donovan Mitchell would be just fine playing for the Nets because the Nets are in New York and he'd probably love to play in his hometown. But we all know that he would rather play for the team that, hell, even the Nets' best player wants to play for. Mikhail Bridges doesn't want to be on the Nets. He wants to be on the Knicks. I think Donovan Mitchell is looking at New York basketball and thinking, yeah, the Brooklyn Nets, that's where I want to be. No! No one on the Nets wants to be on the Nets. The only people who want to be on the, on the Nets are the guys who know they're not good enough to be on the Knicks. So what if the Knicks throw out this trade? They give that boy on Bogdanovich expiring contract once they accept that team option. They do a sign and trade involving Precious and Chua. They renew Jericho Sims's deal. That makes the money work. And you throw th four first rounders at him. Two pick swaps of the Knicks' own draft picks in 2027 and 2029, ins ensuring flexibility that they could still trade that 2028 first rounder. Along with the Detroit pick and the Milwaukee Bucks pick, that could be enough to land Donovan Mitchell to this team, as Donovan's value has certainly gone down since he's went to Cleveland, to no fault of his own, and only to the fault of the fact that why the hell would Donovan Mitchell re-sign with the Cavs? I know they're in the playoffs. I know they're the fourth seed for the second straight year. There's a very real chance where they lose to the Orlando Magic, and Donovan Mitchell recently said he doesn't care about making the second round. He he says that NBA players get judged on whether they make the conference finals or the NBA finals. No one's thinking about if you lose in the first or second round. Well, it was a successful season unless you severely were expected to be worse. Like last year's Knicks, who everyone was saying is a play-in team at best. They went to the second round, gave the Heat a run for their money. Heat went to the finals. Successful season for the Knicks. But that was also a building season. The Cavs aren't in a building season. They're supposed to be better than they are already. They were the two seed for a large portion of the season, but they just, their starters got back and they got worse somehow, which is not a good look and another reason why Donovan would probably leave. But can the Nets really beat the New York Knicks when we're looking at trade packages? I mean, if you look here, that's the Knicks one. But, if you look here, this is the trade. Alright, that's actually a pretty good trade. Alright, that, that, that's a pretty good offer. Um, I, yeah, uh, just to take another look at that, the Nets get Karis LeVert to go full circle and join their team once again, along with landing Donovan Mitchell using that Ben Simmons contract, and also Dorian Finney-Smith, who the Cavs could use either as a trade ship or a good player, because they'd still have playoff talent on their roster, along with the Phoenix 2027 pick, the Philadelphia 2027 pick, the 2029 Dallas pick, and their own 
pick swap in 2030, along with two second rounders. Look, guys. That's a pretty good trade. If I'm the Cavs. I'm taking that one. I'm being real, dude. Like, if you look at this. Wouldn't you rather take that Cavs deal? The Suns are falling apart. Or the Nets deal. The Suns are falling apart. And the Knicks, these picks, they're valuable. They're valuable. Don't get me wrong. They are. But that's also saying the Nets, that, the Nets would offer this much. And I don't know if they would. Because somewhere in the Nets' minds, they want to get a third star also. Whether it's through cap space. that I don't know where they'd be able to pull that from to get that AD million. Especially after you trade for Donovan Mitchell. But you're also getting rid of some more valuable players on your roster, specifically Dorian Finney-Smith. And then you're relying on Cam Thomas, Mikael Bridges, and Donovan Mitchell to bring you a championship. That would be delusional also, like the Nets are, thinking they can actually land Donovan Mitchell and keep him there. Donovan's going to look at that Nets team and think, hey, this team is not good. I'm not going to stay. This is We're a, what, a sixth seed, maybe? Maybe Donovan can carry them to a top four if they retain Claxton, but then they're not going to have money for another star, and they're going to max out with that team. They're not winning anything. They're just going to ensure that they're in the playoffs for the next five years and probably lose early unless Donovan Mitchell goes nuclear, Cam Thomas explodes into superstardom, finally starts playing defense, and Mikhail Bridges can take another step forwards. That is what they're banking on. That's a lot to bank on. Especially when you think about a trade like this where the San Antonio Spurs can run in, take Donovan Mitchell, pair him with Wemby through these contracts, and give him a bunch of very enticing first-round picks. And two things come to mind. One, the Nets would make a huge mistake going for Donovan Mitchell because he would leave. And two, the New York Knicks have real competition. If the Knicks want to trade for Donovan Mitchell, they're going to have to give that package that I mentioned, plus potentially more or some three-team trade where they're giving Boyan somewhere else to a team that wants him who will give some sort of protected first for him. And I don't know how likely. I actually don't think that's likely. So the Knicks could be in an interesting spot. It's not like if Donovan Mitchell requests a trade, the New York Knicks are going to be able to walk into getting him. And we can't think that we are. But also a lot of fans, including myself, aren't thrilled with the idea of Donovan Mitchell. Look, I also kind of believe in the idea of if you can get the talent, you do it, and you figure everything else out later. Donovan Mitchell is a long wingspan. He's a high IQ basketball player who's a really good defender at Louisville. There's no reason why he can't be a good defender in the NBA. And I think Tom Thibodeau would get that out of him. I mean, Tibbs has gotten the best out of Jalen Brunson, Josh Hart, Dante DiVincenzo, Julius Randle, Mitchell Robinson, Isaiah Hartenstein, Precious Achua, all these guys. Tom Thibodeau has gotten the best, best basketball out of. So I'm pretty confident that he could make Donovan Mitchell a good defender, though it is still worrisome. I don't want the Knicks to get in some insane bidding war and give five first-round picks and that and that trade for Donovan Mitchell. I just don't think it's worth it. I think they could wait for the next good player that they could try to trade for, and as long as the Nets don't trade for Donovan Mitchell... They could still go for McHale, they being the Knicks, that is. So, hopefully, either the Knicks just land him and he starts playing defense, or the Nets don't get him. I don't think he's going to end up on the Nets, though. Let's be real. It's the Nets. They're not going to get anything good happening to him ever. However, if you are a Nets fan, unlike me, Nets Digest is coming out soon. Guys, comment down below. Wait, why would you be a Nets fan and watch this video? I know you're not. No one cares about the Nets. We're in New York. But look, comment down below your thoughts on Donovan Mitchell. This is kind of a one-off. We're not getting back into these Donovan rumors. It's the playoffs, baby, and you don't want to miss any content. So let me know all your thoughts down below, whether it's on playoffs, Donovan Mitchell. Do I need a haircut? Let me know. Just, you know, I don't know. Whatever the hell you want to talk about, I'll be in the comments engaging. Have a great day. Go Knicks. Happy Friday, guys. Let's have a great weekend.